Hello again guys, quick video for you today. A company called Acmore reached out to me and asked if I wanted to check out this something. This is the Acmore Touch LED Nightlight. But apparently it's so much more than that. According to the Amazon listing, it's a touch LED nightlight clock, digital display clock, makeup mirror clock with a built-in 2000 milliamp hour battery. It's rechargeable over micro USB. It's a three-in-one travel alarm clock. So let us open this up and see what comes in it. I expect a lot. First up, I was wrong. This is not micro USB. This has a USB to little barrel connector. There's a little thank you card. Oh, it lit up. <laughs> There's a thank you card. There's an instruction manual, which I will almost assuredly need here in just a minute. And then, the mirror, oh look, there's you, kind of. But there's a button here, it's got a light button, so we'll tap that on and off. There you go. I'm hoping there's a coating or a film or something over this because it looks like there is to prevent scratches and whatnot. There we go. Yeah, that helped a little bit. And taking a look through the manual, there's a lot of Chinese. Let's just take a look at this and see if we can figure any of it out before I dig too deep into the manual. So the button on the front, obviously, light. That's the back backlit night light type stuff. Turns it on and off, pretty simple. On the back, there are buttons. So you have set, up, down, and on and off. And then there's a little click thing here, which has a CR2032 lithium watch battery. Here's your DC 5 volt input. So when you need to charge it, this is where you're gonna go. And then there's a rest button, which is presumably a reset button with a misspelling. Let's see, on, off, whoop. On, turns the clock on. That's got a very loud beep to it. Off. Ah, so I guess when you've got it turned on like this, it's going to show you what it thinks the time is, which actually is pretty close. And then it's going to switch to, uh, so that's apparently the date and then the temperature. You can change it between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Looking through some of the manual here, there's different display modes. So you can see right here, it is switching between the time, the date, and the, the temperature. It's probably how I would like to leave it. But if you switch it over to DP1 mode, which you do by hitting that button there, it should just stay on time all the time. Yeah, so it's not switching now. It looks like I just switched it over to Celsius there. So if I tap back to DP2, whenever it switches to the, the temperature, it's now gonna be in Celsius. Yeah, see 18C. And I can fix that by hitting the up button again. Now it says F, so that's uh, Fahrenheit. If I long press that up key on the back, it goes to the brightness setting. So now we're L2, three, four, and that's as high as it can go. So L4 is gonna be the brightest you can do on this. And then let's see how dim it goes. Yeah, that gets pretty dim right there. Much better for me in terms of night vision. And just looking through here, there are definitely settings for changing it to 12 and 24 hour mode. You can change the date and time using this. You can set an alarm using it. So, I mean, just in terms of being an alarm clock, it looks like it's gonna get the job done. And I guess if you like to, to wake up and immediately start looking at yourself in the mirror, It'll, it'll do, I can see myself in there. Not sure if this is gonna appeal to everybody. It definitely has a, a certain set of features that are going to appeal to some people. I mean, very interesting, it's flashing in this camera, but not in that. It has to do with the refresh rate and everything, but don't worry about that. This is how it's gonna look for everyday usage. You can see the temperature is changing, so it has to do with my, my hands being near it and warming it up and just the room itself being warmer. So, I mean, it does appear to be getting the job done. It's keeping track of the time. It's got the date settings. It's got the temperature settings. So I'm gonna say it's pretty cool. Looks like the retail price on it's about 40 bucks over on Amazon, but right now, just look at it right this very second it's about 26 bucks so if this is something that absolutely flips your switches and ticks the boxes for you head on down to the link in the description but thanks so much to acmore for sending this out for me to take a look at thanks to you guys for watching leave that thumbs up down below the video there's a thumbs up button there if you hadn't noticed it's a pretty awesome thing hit the subscribe button also if you want to get notified when i put out new videos because there's loads of awesome things like this that i make videos about all the time make sure to check them out thank you guys as always for watching though and i will see you next time